Good morning ladies, today we're going to speak about animal print and animal print is one of those things that can be quite tricky when it comes to elegance so I think it would be really really good for us to chat about this today and um, see what kind of animal print is more elegant what kind of animal print is not elegant at all let me just start saying by saying that a leopard is the most like popular animal print, I think, and it's actually this one that I would say there's a lot of combination and you can wear it and still be very, very elegant. However, there are animal prints like, let's say, a cow print that I don't think it will, it will be worth it for you to invest and, let's say, a cow um, jacket or a cow a coat or a cow uh, print. Um, trousers. I feel like those wouldn't be so elegant and you would look a little bit maybe funny if you are um, not sure about animal print itself and you want to start somewhere then I feel like cow print is not going to be a um, good idea and it's better to start classic and classic it's either a snake or um, zebra or um, leopard uh, print. So without more talking about what a kind of animal print is, elegant world not, let's just jump what kind of outfit, uh, how can we add animal print to our uh, outfit. And first thing what you can do actually, and it's very easy to do it, it's to invest in nice pencil skirt um, with this animal print design, obviously. Pencil skirts are great to work, so even if you are a busy businesswoman, you can wear it to work, you can um, still wear it if you're going for some kind of maybe evening, so it's versatile and we want to obviously have a clothes in our wardrobe that we can stylist in many different ways. And I feel like skirt is skirt. It's such a good idea. It doesn't need to be pencil. If you're going for this kind of more like a flowy skirt, then I would say it's going to be better for like every day for maybe running your errands and um, I don't know, going for a date as well, but not necessary to work. But if you want to be more professional, then obviously pe pencil skirt is going to be um, the best. So with animal print, you need to be very careful because obviously it's such a strong um, design and such a strong, uh, like a visual thing that you don't want to uh, disturb this kind of attention from this animal print and put, let's say, another very strong design on your top. So if you're going for a skirt, then I would recommend you to go for something maybe um, lighter or darker. It depends what kind of animal print it is. So if there is some kind of element of black on your animal print, then it's a very good idea to add to your outfit more black. If there is some kind of beige undertones in your animal print, then uh, you can go this direction. So it all depends what kind of design uh, it is. But... Um, going more like neutralizing this kind of animal print with one solid color it's going to be always good option and good idea and Kate Middleton is doing this Victoria Beckham is doing this Queen Letizia is doing this so obviously it's working and they are elegant ladies and uh, the outfits they wearing they are elegant so you don't need to stress and you don't need to worry you're still going to um, look really spot on it's just uh, don't try to add too much if you have a, a one beautiful elegant um, animal print skirt balance it with um, neutral colors when it comes to top is the same rule if you're going for a top then you want your bottom to be uh, more like a solid color it can be again black it can be beige it can be anything you want but just try to avoid very strong colors because you don't really want to look um like a crazy woman <laughs> you still want to look um, nice classy I have a picture here what you shouldn't do so you shouldn't choose very strong uh like a bottom color when you have a top with animal print because it just looks very very like you don't really know what's going on it just the attention is such a strong attention to this outfit because there's a pink skirt and there is pink um you know this uh, this um, some kind of jewelry and you have this kind of very strong animal print top so that just doesn't look really good but if you still want to you can still match your pink let's say dress with your animal print back and this lady over here she's done it spot on looks absolutely great so as you can see you can still 
go away with going for a strong color and adding animal print to it but then you really need to balance it and don't go everything very big very visible because that's not um, really classy if you want to be classy lady then obviously you want to avoid this kind of mistakes it's a little bit that's with pink it's a little bit different when it comes to red so i have a here picture with lady she's wearing um leopard um blouse and then she has a, this kind of red skirt two still strong um let's say designs and too strong um, visible um, piece of the garment because you have an animal print on the top and the red, strong red on the bottom. But she still looks elegant because the red skirt is not so like neonic color, if you know what I mean. So the, this kind of red, like a wine red or like a light wine red um, color, it's still very, very elegant when a opposite to this pink skirt you could see before it was very like a strong very the color itself is not really um, classified as an elegant color uh, it's more flamboyant color so you know you can still go away with it but just trying to show you that it's better for you and it's more safer for you to go for more neutral colors rather than going for very strong colors because it can be very tricky if you're just starting with uh, animal print, then maybe a good idea is to have your, let's say, beautiful blouse, but hit it a little bit with another layer of, let's say, a jumper or a jacket. So it's not going to be so visible, but you're still going to feel that you're actually trying to incorporate animal print in your wardrobe. Next thing what we can actually wear, it's an animal print coat. And those are very visible. If you're very confident and you feel that animal print is something for you and you want to have this fun with the fashion as well, then animal print coat, it's absolutely okay. But again, underneath your um, garment, you need to um, wear a little bit more neutrals again because the coat is such a big st statement piece. So in the situation like this, if you have a very big coat with some kind of like a leopard uh, print, everything underneath needs to be more neutral, more uh, monotone and um, don't go crazy over there. When it comes to dresses, obviously, again, dress like a coat is a very, very big piece. So if you're going to wear a dress, you um, again, need to, you should really neutralize. So you should really add maybe some nice beige um, heels, maybe some beige back, maybe you can put a nice beige coat on top of that or black coat. Just so you see, this this is not very, very difficult. If you're just going for something that it's very like a strong and in this situation, animal print um, garment, then another piece of your look need to be more neutral. And that's just very easy. That's just balancing yourself out and um, don't going very crazy. If you want to be more flamboyant again, then you can have a beautiful dress, long, beautiful dress. And you can also add this pink or red um, strong color um, accessories, like over here. And as you can see, she looks really great. And you can see that she is showing this kind of confidence. She's showing that she has this kind of maybe creative character, very combative uh, personality, maybe, you know, that she's going to be all around. But there's nothing wrong about this. You just, I feel like if you just want to dress like this, you need to match to your personality. So it wouldn't be good to, for me to dress something like this because I don't have personality like this. Um, but for someone who actually feel like that, then it's absolutely fine. When it comes to animal prints, there's also option that you can mix different animal prints. And this can be very, very tricky. So I'm not going to recommend to you to do that because it's really hard to actually achieve beautiful, elegant style when you have two different, uh, um, two different animal prints. But what you can do, it's actually match from different pieces of your um, look, let's say shoes, your bag, you can match um, the same animal print. So let's say you have a leopard print on your shoes and then you're matching your leopard print on your back or your jacket. And this is still very um, 
elegant way to do it it's as i'm saying the elegant uh, way to do it it's to match the uh, prints so if one of the prints is smaller then it's going to be good for you to match the same like a smaller uh, print on your uh, let's say jacket then just looks better because it looks like it matched together if you're going to, for, for very um, let's say big animal print on the shoes and then tiny uh, animal print on your top then it's not going to work, work so well. For those of us who want to start with animal print, because I don't really personally own anything with animal print yet, I'm right now uh, hunting something for with animal print. I feel like first would be good for me to start maybe with a nice um, like a shirt, with silk or um, like a satin shirt. So that's what I'm looking for and uh, but apart from that if you're starting you can actually go for just animal print shoes and those are really great because you can wear with a beige outfit with uh, even black outfits so it's again you can mix and match with uh, other things and they're not such a big uh, part of your um, look and your garment then they're not going to be so visible like let's say coat so that's just a great idea to like if you're a beginner to just start with something small so there's one also thing i want to mention there are uh, lots of different animal print trousers and when it comes to trousers the more elegant will be those that they are more like a white like a, a palazzo trousers they're going to be much more elegant rather in if you would buy those kind of like a, um, leggings leggings with animal print unfortunately they're not going to be elegant they're going to look um, even if you buy i don't know what kind of brand they're going to look a little bit cheap to be honest so if you want to wear animal print on the bottom it's better to go for a skirt or choose more wider trousers because i rather want you to go for something more elegant with a more flowy one um, and you can still wear them to work but don't go for those kind of like a cheap looking uh, leggings because they're not going to um, add anything to you obviously there are other things like scarves that you can add um, to yourself to like add this animal print which is really good to as well to start with um, but overall that's it ladies you know i feel like the skirts are the best then you have a tops um coats dresses and trousers i would say they are like on the the last just because it's not easy to find really good animal print trousers as well um but overall i would say go always with a blouse and skirt first and um, what I was going to say, I feel, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was um, quite short, but I think sweet because it's just animal print is something that there's this kind of mis misconceptions that animal print cannot be elegant, that you need to be very careful with this kind of stronger patterns. And I don't agree with that. You just need to be um, careful and you need to just uh, balance it out with other piece of your um, outwear. That's the all secret. If you're buying something strong, the rest of your out, the rest of your clothes shouldn't be more balanced, shouldn't be more monotone, and then you're going to look really, really good. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up, and um, see you in a few days.